news, Zdeno, congratulations. Um, Thank you. Just curious uh, what it does mean for you to, to, to come back to the Islanders organization, you know, where, where you started many, many seasons ago. And also, you know, how big a debate did you have, you know, with yourself and the discussion with your family as to whether you, you did or did not want to play this coming season? Thanks. That's a, yeah, it's a great question. Um, well, it's kind of a full circle. Um, you know, who would knew that this would kind of work out the way it did after 20 some years but um, i'm certainly being uh, very uh, very honored and humbled to be uh islander again um obviously the organization uh went through some transitions over the course of uh 20 years but uh you know i i, I think that we all see the progress and uh, the the positivity that uh, uh is kind of uh, uh you know uh, the team is at and um uh, discussions with the family has been going on for probably the whole summer. Um, you know, that was very important to me that my family uh, would feel comfortable um, and ready for me to play another year and being uh, away from them, uh, but at the same time, not too far. Arthur Staple, The Athletic. So, Dano, um, was this, were the Islanders the only place that you really considered this offseason or were there other teams that had, uh, that had reached out to you? Yeah, there were other teams. Um, respectfully, I'm not going to name them, but, uh, um, you know, there was a, a good amount of interest. Uh, we just obviously uh, had to uh, uh, go through this process where it was, uh, you know, it was taking some time and, like I said, I had some conversations with uh, with the teams and and obviously with my family, and we we made the uh, decision to to go with the Islanders. Go ahead, Arthur. And uh, you know, you you've seen the Islanders for a long, long time, especially last year up close. What uh, what is it about this team? Is it is it just the way that they're seemingly on the cusp of being able to be champions that that drew you to them? Well, obviously, uh, I can only tell by playing against them. Uh, it was always hard to be playing against uh, against the Islanders. They're always on you. Uh, they play a very heavy game and uh, grinding game, and um, they don't give up uh, many chances, many goals. Uh, games were always tight. Um, you know, it's a it's a very solid group um, uh, with a strong leadership and and strong uh, core players that have been part of the Islanders for a long time. Um, you know, under the uh, great coaching staff and, um, you know, one of the best, uh, if not the best uh, uh, managers in, uh, in the league. So, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's a well-structured and, and cultured team now. And, and uh, uh, for sure, they just, uh, you know, I think making, uh, making a, lot of, a lot of noise around the league, especially the last uh, few years. Steven Wino, Associated Press. Hey, Zidano. Uh, I'm wondering how much of this decision to continue playing somewhere uh, was the possibility of playing in the Olympics after Slovakia qualified for Beijing? Well, I, I didn't really thought about, uh, you know, Olympics at this time. Um, you know, I, uh, I kind of kindly declined to play the uh, qualification in Slovakia due to uh, uh, right reasons. Um, so I don't know where this uh, this this goes, um, but you know I think my focus is right now being ready for the training camp, um, and uh, whatever you know, whenever the the Olympics uh, comes, then uh, I'll deal with that. Christian Arnold, New York Hockey now. Zdeno, when you look back at your time with the Islanders, that first go around in the late '90s, what do you remember about playing for the for the organization, and what kind of fond memories do you have of that that time in your career? Well, I was very grateful for the opportunity to play for the Islanders. It was my first team, my first NHL uh, experiences. Um, you know, we we were going through some different phases uh, at that time, but um, you know, uh, I learned a lot from that. And uh, um, yeah, it's 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 hard to remember all of the uh, all of the uh, you know uh, all of the things uh, from back then. But like I said, you know, those are very useful experiences. Chris King, Islanders Radio. Hi, Z. Welcome back, first of all. Thanks. 
Good to see you. Well, just uh, tell me, you know, you mentioned the, the management and the coaching. What do you know of Lou and of Barry, you know, just from the outside looking in? Uh, very structured, very disciplined, uh, very organized, uh, very professional. Go back to Arthur Stable, the athletic. As a Dana, I mean, it, it, the places you've been, you know, your leadership is something that a lot of people talk about how important that is. This, this is a team, as you mentioned, it's, it's got a strong core. And do you kind of, did you want a place maybe where you just, you know, kind of blend in a little bit and be part of what they, what was already established? Was that something that was important to you? Well, of course it's important. I think leadership is very important, but it's coming from the top. Uh, from the management, through the coaching staff, um, onto the players. Uh, and I really believe that uh, the le leadership throughout the whole uh, uh, line of, uh, uh, is very strong. Uh, I'm just looking forward to be part of it uh, and contribute uh, on and off the ice the way I can. Andrew Gross, Newsday. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, Dano, just curious, that, that photo you posted uh, with the Islander jersey in the background had, a, had an A on it. And I'm wondering if, <laughs> if, if, you, if that's the jersey they sent you or that's just a, a uh, coincidence there. No, I had actually two jerseys. One was the, the white one and, uh, and the, uh, the blue was obviously back then was a away jersey. But no, that was, those are the jerseys I, I uh, you know, I kept uh, from the years uh, I played on Long Island. So uh, kind of, uh, yeah, still the same. And, um, you know, I think I had one more of the, you know, fishermen, uh, I think. Uh, but I, uh, yeah, those are the jerseys I, uh, I kept from my playing days. Dan Rosen, NHL.com. Dan Um what convinced you to come back and play another season? You know, you said you had discussions with your family. So what was the overlying factor that, you know, the big, the big factor that convinced you that you were ready to go again? I love the game. I have passion for the game and, and believe that I can still play. Um, you know, those are, the, those are the things you need. And, uh, you know, I, I think you don't need to say much uh, besides, you know, um, having love for the game and, and having passion for it um, and wanted to wanted to win. Dan, you have a follow up? Yeah, just quick. Are you? Is the family still in Boston? See, uh, sorry, I couldn't hear you very good. Is, are you? Is the family still in Boston? Is that like home base for you still? Yeah, yeah, we're still yeah. In, in Boston. So, that's, home so base. that's an easy commute for them then to be able to see you more often throughout the season. I would imagine, right? There are, you know, there are possibilities. Yes, there's opportunities to to see them. Yes. Thank you. We'll go last one here with Mark Erne. 10 10 wins. Hey, Z, welcome home. Uh, congratulations. I'm just curious to know did you ever imagine after being away for so long that you would finally be able to close this circle? Uh, yeah, you never, you never know how, how, how your career will evolve and, and how it will end, end up. But, you know, I, I, you know, obviously nobody can really imagine to be, you know, kind of finishing where, where they start, but, you know, in a, in a, you know, it just worked out that way and, and I'm glad it did. Um, I'm, I'm happy to be Islander again. Um, and, um, yeah, that's just the way it sometimes works. Mm -hmm.